Did you ever wonder where the sky ends? In my childhood, I did think for long hours, staring at the horizon of aperture, that maybe the sky meets the earth at some point, isn't it? But now, I think what a fool I was. With science, we have known our place from an entirely new perspective. There is not even a place to touch as we are in a spherical ball of mud and water. Suspended in the stellar space, in the middle of nowhere and revolving constantly around the sun, since millions of years, we have grown to know this much and more. But still, to the universe, we are nothing but the same children with an ignorance even bigger than our ego. Hi, my name is Bibar Swan and I am from Team Masterville and I welcome you to our first episode of the new series which we call it From Chaos to Cosmos. Cosmic journey outside and inside the magnificent creation that's creating, sustaining and destroying everything at the same time. So if you are interested, please watch this video till end. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, follow our podcast and without making any further delays, let us begin. Thousands of years ago, ancient sages of India called the solar system as Surya Malika, a mala or a chain of planets with the sun at the center. This was centuries before Galileo. They call the earth as Jagat, meaning Jiski Gati hai, the planet that's moving. This solar system is not only the one, but almost every star that we see twinkling in the sky contains a system of planets along with it. Many of the stars are much, much bigger than that of our sun. If we take a quick comparison, sun is nothing but a small dot which is at his very young age when compared to other stars that we see in the constellations like Orion and much more. If we go back, every dot in the Milky Way galaxy is a probable star system with quadrillions of planets in it. So we are naive to call that we are alone. From Hubble Space Telescope, we have been seeing that every galaxy is moving away from each other and scientists predicted this force is called dark energy. This is the force that pushes the universe to expand until each galaxy or particle will be alone and die in a silent death of cosmic freezing. Did you ever notice it's so easy to shatter a glass yet so difficult to restore it? It's easy for a smell to diffuse, but not the opposite. This phenomenon is called entropy. The segregated portion of the universe want to dissolve into a further homogeneous distribution. That may look like a chaos to us, but this is nothing but cosmos to the universe itself. This is the truth. This is the beauty. When Master was asked, what is beauty? He once said, Shamotai Sondojo or homogeneity is beauty. It fits exactly with the current understanding of our universe. Everything is so accurate and measured. With this thermodynamic play of entropy, we are indeed reaching that point. You know, maybe that's why we seek beauty and we seek refuge in this truth. The universe was created from nothingness. We call it the Big Bang. When the space-time continuum itself came into the picture, 
we should be naive to think that the life we feel within us is there, but it wasn't there in the epoch. Then where did it come from? We are indeed made up of particles, time and energy fused together. But if it wasn't there, how did it come into being? The sages said, the universe originated from Nard or vibration, then light came into Rig Veda. The Bible says, in the beginning there was word and the word was God. Quran says about sounds and nood and our master says, the booming commotion of existence that rolls in the bosom of beyond evolves into a thrilling rhyme and upheaves into a shooting becoming of being with the echoes that float with an embodiment of energy that is logos the word 